Here we are in Natash Kwan. It is freaking beautiful. Made it here last night, got a little fire going, folded the bed down in the back of our Mitsubishi Delica and just slept right here on the beach. Now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat in town, lay our stuff out. Is there anything we forgot? Is there anything that we don't wanna bring? And it's our last chance to do that before our float plane flight leaves, which is at two. So it is rapidly approaching. We're just here in base de Lac Levion, uh, outside of Natash Kwan. And uh, we just weighed all our stuff. Looks like we just came in to be the right weight. We're flying out with Labrador Air Safari into Lac Fontenot to paddle the Natash Kwan's East Branch. Really excited, feeling a little nervous, making sure we got everything. This is very precious cargo we have here. So I'm feeling really very excited, but also extremely nervous. This is gonna be my very first fly-in wilderness trip ever. Longest canoe trip ever. Jacques and Daniel are gonna show us how to tie a float plane. No, not, yeah, tie a float plane to a canoe. <laughs> They're gonna show us how to tie a canoe to a float plane. So let's watch how they do it. You're making sure that the propeller doesn't hit the canoe? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Labrador Air Safari used four ratchet straps to secure the canoe to the plane. Two large straps in the middle over the hull held it down tightly, while additional smaller straps held the bow and stern carrying handles to D-rings in the pontoon. Some bush pilots used two ropes over the hull with a third rope in between them to hold together, which is also an effective method. And if the canoe touched the, the tail... Yeah. Problem. Yeah. Problem. Yeah. In the plane. Come on. Come on. In the plane. Ah, he's strong, hey, huh? uh, he's okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, Josh. Your nice trip. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for all your help. So we're just taxiing out in this De Havilland Beaver, and uh, we got our bush pilot here, Serge, or Serge, as it's supposed to be pronounced. And we are about to head out, so I guess you could say our trip is officially underway. Nobody paddles the East Branch of the Natash Kwan. It's very remote and there's two massive canyons on it. Each one is five kilometers long. Hopefully that doesn't mean 10K of portaging, but there's gonna be some serious rapids. There's still those nerves, you know, because if Mother Nature wants to slam the door on you, she will. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed here. After the hour and 15 minute long flight left us on a beautiful beach, we are completely on our own and 118 miles from the nearest road. Looked like a great place to camp, but Wanting to put some kilometers behind us, we ate lunch and began paddling north towards the Labrador border. 